All right, guys, so welcome back to another video. So today I'm gonna to show you another app on your iPhone that you can use, it's called Golf Track. And basically you can use your iPhone as a launch monitor. Uh, it works the same way as basically the Mibo Plus or uh, uh, TrackMan, the, you know, it sits uh, behind the ball and then it's supposed to track your, your uh, swing speed, distance, uh, launch angle, and other data. Uh, and basically the way it works, uh, you need a little tripod like this and you have to uh, put it behind the ball like this and you hit from here now there's a few things that you need to know about the uh, the setup because it's a little bit complicated but I think once you uh, understand how to set it up uh, you can get good results so stay tuned okay so it's a little bit complicated but I think I got it this is the best way to do it uh, you place a tee in the mat, you have your ball ready, have a ball ready to go, you stand behind it uh, 120 centimeters and you have to get the line where you're going to hit it. So the square has to be above the tee, so kind of like that. Then you press reset, place ball and please wait. Start. Make sure you hit like seven iron because I think the nine iron it might be a little bit uh, ready. Uh, it needs uh, more space, I think, in my opinion. So seven iron, it always works. Wait until it says ready, and then make sure you hit it straight, though. Okay. Okay, and you get a reading. It says processing. Processing shots. This Ball one was a little thin. 100 miles per hour. Okay. Vertical angle is 12 degrees. Horizontal angle is 4 degrees. Club path is out to in. Place 12, ball and yeah, please wait. Uh, 12 degrees launch angle. I think that's correct because I kind of think that one. So uh, now is it correct? You know, I can't tell you that, but it seems like if I do it, if I set it up correctly here, um, you have a better chance of. Of getting it correct so it's a little bit you know unless you put something in there where you know exactly what to hit it every time I'm just been marking it with a T and obviously I'm recording right now so it makes it a little more complicated so reset place ball and please wait start I've been getting readings every time like this ready with a nine iron unfortunately I couldn't get readings every time so seven iron I'm we'll try to get a good one. Okay, this is pretty good. Should be 155 yards, I think. Let's see. It says processing shot. Ball speed, 114 miles per hour. Uh, okay, give me 176 miles. Horizontal angle is zero degrees. Club path is square. Launch vertical launch Place angle, that's 16. Wait. That's pretty interesting because I would say that that's, that's good. I don't know if it was 176 yards, but the spin, ball speed seems pretty good. Club path square. So this is quite interesting, guys. I think if you set it right correctly, you may get something uh, that is, uh, I mean, I don't know. I will have to compare it to the Mibo Plus, but it's really interesting and it's free. So I tried a, a lot of shots and I wouldn't say it's completely bad. I think uh, I like the way it works that it's sitting behind you and it's like um, uh, detecting the ball and then you hit your shots and then it's processing. It may depend on the type of phone that you have. The phone that I used it is the uh, iPhone 13, so it should be pretty good. Uh, I'm not sure though if it's, uh, if it's very accurate in my opinion uh i think uh, for me the launch angle was pretty good uh, now they do say that it has to be uh, a decent like uh landing con condition balance so maybe here is not the best landing condition because it's a little bit you know there's a little little sunlight uh some shaded areas so i'm not sure maybe if it's due to that uh i would like to try it again uh you could try it at the, at the range as well there's an outdoor version for it an outdoor uh, setting it doesn't cause anything so you can try it uh, this is the first time i tried it uh, in, in my backyard i think you're not supposed to use a net so if you have a net unfortunately uh it's not going to read it uh, i do have uh i don't have a net i have just this uh, archery uh padding 
uh, screen so I'm not sure maybe if it has to be something else so lately there's a lot of um, launch monitors that you can use through your phone I tested a few uh, some are better than others uh, I would say overall we're still not there um, maybe there's something missing because it you know uh, when you think that okay it's been pretty accurate and then you hit a shot that you know that you didn't hit well and then it gives you this uh, reading that is like completely wrong so um, I wouldn't use it as a benchmark for your swing but you could try it and maybe you know if I'm doing something wrong uh, maybe there's something with the setup uh, I read instructions but I would say that this one I like better than the other ones that I tried because this one kind of gives you consistent reading you know it doesn't get stuck into like it, it won't read so um, I like that about it and the only problem I would say with the ball speed sometimes I think it doesn't it gives you higher ball, ball speed but the one thing that I do like is the launch angle I think that one is pretty accurate I would say so and the spin I'm not sure about that but that was interesting the spin numbers were quite interesting for me so um, I will try all the clubs and see how it goes but uh, if you haven't tried it make sure to download the app it's only for iPhones unfortunately uh, give it a try let me know what you think uh, especially if you don't have any launch monitor I think it wouldn't cause anything to just try to get an idea of your shots maybe if you're at the range use the outdoor uh, outdoor setting and try it out see how it goes okay so I'll give it another try on better lighting conditions it was late afternoon so was there, there was no shade no it wasn't sunny and it did seem like it was a little more accurate as far as ball speed especially um, the club path, I don't know about that because uh, I always get into out with my irons on the Mevo Plus and here I was getting out to end. Um, so I don't think that's correct. But uh, what did impress me was the launch angle. I think that was very accurate. And the ball speed, for some reason, uh, I feel like that was really um, accurate uh, with the Mevo Plus, especially hitting off mats. Um, the carry distance, I think it was... Um, it depends I'm not sure but sometimes it did seem like it was correct but then sometimes I give you like this big number and sometimes uh, like a lower number so but overall I think it will be quite interesting to maybe place it a little bit more to the right or left and see how you know check the readings all right guys so that was it for the review I hope you enjoyed that so remember you just need your iPhone a little tripod uh, follow the instructions and try it out and see if it, if it works for you. For me, in my back here, um, it was uh, some data was good, I think, but there was a few uh, shots that I think it didn't read it uh, correctly. So I will be wary of, of the data that you get there. But it's quite interesting. I mean, it doesn't hurt to try. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Until next time.